Hey friends, today I am in Universal Studios Orlando. I wanted to come out and enjoy a day in the park since they changed their face covering policies and we can walk around outside without wearing them. And plus, I just wanted to ride some rides and eat some food. So, let's go do this. As soon as we walked in, look who we bump into. Shrek and Donkey. Might as well go say hello. This is a great meet and greet because Donkey actually conversates with you. Hello, friends. Hey, what's up? Well, what's going on? Man, I haven't seen you in a minute. What's up? Oh, what's going on? Just a nice windy day. Mm -hmm. Windy, windy day. Oh, is this for the channel? This for the channel. If you walk over towards ET, you can see a picture of Shrek for a new offering coming soon. Oh, nice. yeah. That's right. Yeah, but you're not in it. But this, they're using you to sell the attraction. Yeah, they're using you. I'm so glad Donkey told me about that. I forgot that they're opening up the DreamWorks destination over here. So we're gonna have to check that out. That's gonna be a new experience where you can meet some of your favorite characters. And that's over by E.T. And since we're over there, we're probably gonna ride E.T. as well. But I I'm glad he reminded me. Thanks a lot, Donkey. I was gonna actually go get something to eat real quick at the Monsters Cafe, which is one of my favorite places to eat, but it only reopened for the weekends. That is a heartbreak, so I guess I'll have to wait to the Orlando Informer, and then I'm gonna eat all that I care to enjoy. We'll have to find somewhere else to get something to eat, but there's a couple other new things I wanna point out, including the new tribute store that should be opening up next month. There it is. Jurassic World Tribute Store. It's the first time I'm seeing it because I was gone away for a little bit, but it looks so pretty. I think everybody is like in remembrance of those Jurassic Park doors. Even the new Jurassic World logo is just such an iconic piece and it's nice to be right out front. Usually when it comes to the tribute stores, they always have amazing theming in there, but they also sell food. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of Jurassic food they're going to be selling in there, like Jurassic snacks. I like it. <laughs> Jurassic snacks. Wow. <laughs> One of the places I really don't visit often to get something to eat is the San Francisco Pastry Company right here. They do serve coffee and some bakery items, and I thought it would be interesting just to stop in and see what they got. I'm really happy that we did because some of these items look amazing. We've got chocolate eclairs, mocha pyramid, that looks absolutely amazing. Some horns, some brownies. Look at this. It's a confetti cake. It looks like that's Rice Krispie treats in the middle there. Cookies and cream puff, a chocolate raspberry cake, a pistachio orange cream puff. I think I'm gonna get the pistachio. Maybe another thing too because, you know, for educational purposes, we need to know what that mocha pyramid tastes like. That is such an amazing little hidden gem in there. And the prices can't be beat. I cannot wait to dive into these desserts. They look phenomenal. Under $10 for both of these. And just take a look at the size of them. You're gonna be impressed, trust me. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, this is something so good. They were just about $5 a piece and I got my annual pass holder discount. So under $10. Not a bad deal. I only got two just for educational purposes. I needed to know what they tasted like. Oh, I don't know which one to start off with. The pistachio orange cream puff, I'm very excited to try, but I think we have to cut into it. Like, I need to see what the inside is. All right, let's see what's inside this bad boy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my. oh my lord. That's gonna be amazing. I don't know why I feel like I've had this before, but this looks so amazing. Okay, I don't know what to say about that. I love it, so amazing. You really taste the orange in there and then the pistachio on top, top notch, top notch I say. I have to give the mocha triangle credit though. It's been standing upright this whole entire time and it just fell over now because of red, like because of the wind. But I can't believe it stayed like standing up that whole entire time. We're gonna try this, but I already know I like the pistachio one a little bit more. I already know, and I haven't even tried it yet. This one melted pretty quickly. I probably should have eaten it first. 
that's good too. Oh, but the pistachio <laughs> cream puff definitely won. Definitely. Oh. This is kind of like tiramisu though. So I don't know. I think I would definitely get both of them again. But yeah. Oh, this is too good. That pistachio orange cream puff might be my new favorite bakery or dessert item here ever. It was so good. I can't even believe it. I hope that it's like there permanently, like forever. Maybe it's been there a while and I just never came across it, but I love pistachio and it just, it was just a great combination. So I definitely highly recommend that and I'm definitely gonna be getting it again. Oh, too good, much too good. We're gonna make our way over near ET and also check out the DreamWorks destination like entrance queue where they're gonna actually open up eventually. It also looks like Five O's Splash Pad is open. I don't think I've seen that open in a long time. Every time I come back here, it's closed. And if this is open, then maybe the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster is open. And here it is, the new DreamWorks destination. Shrek right there, just like Donkey said, using his likeness. And uh, it's not open yet, but most of all of the kitty area is open over here. I don't know if that's new or I just don't come back here often. And there's the Woody roller coaster. I think we're gonna go ride that. Oh, I haven't been on here. I haven't been on this ride in forever. Look at it, there it goes. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Can you hear Woody Woodpecker laughing on there? That's amazing. This is like a little kid coaster, kind of like Goofy is over at the Magic Kingdom. But it's, it's, it's nice, I like riding all roller coasters. Board of Directors, Woody, not head and splinter. Oh, welcome to the laughing path. Whistle while you work, or wait. Honestly, I think I rode this probably eight years ago. No, it wasn't eight years ago. I don't know when I rode it last. Here it comes. Just like Velocicoaster. Here we go! That was a fun little ride. Literally, I think it was 30 seconds. Like, it's a 30 second roller coaster, but I love it. <laughs> now that we're over here though, we might as well go on an ET adventure. 15 minute wait time, but we have Express because it is four o'clock. Now that we actually are starting to get things back to normal, I wonder if they're gonna start all the pre-shows at the attractions again. I noticed like Disney hasn't actually changed on that, but everyone did drop down to three feet like separators, but huh, it makes you wonder.
AT is one of my favorite rides and it always makes me feel happy. I don't know if it's the smell or the animatronics, the ride itself is just a rush of nostalgia and I love it. And now I think we're gonna do something I've never done before. Animal actors on location. And it looks like we're in time to catch the last showtime. I'm not even sure if we can film in here, but I'm perfect for the part and I smell a hit. See, this is gonna be fun. I hope that we can actually film it and show it. And I'm not even sure if I need to wear a mask because it's an outdoor theater. We'll see. We're gonna be guided in the right direction, I guess. Wow, it looks really cool in here. I don't think I've ever done it before. And it kind of looks like Legends of the Hidden Temple in here. Look at that right there. We're gonna see some awesome pets. And yes, you do need to wear your mask if you are sitting down and watching the show. Even though it's an outdoor, but because we're in an attraction that goes within the guidelines. nice little show I definitely highly recommend if you do want to check that show out to come early and get seats close we were all the way up so I wasn't able to get any good footage but I'll put in what I could uh, but overall it was it was nice it was fun it was kind of funny a lot of good comedy bits and of course dogs cats skunks pigs and what else was there oh otters I loved it we talk about how awesome it is to walk around without a mask on, but I'm most excited for is walking around and drinking a beer. We don't need to be stationary anymore. And the other day I was at Magic Kingdom and I completely forgot about it. We could just walk around with a beer. This is what I've been missing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love it. Definitely feels normal in the parts now. Look at this. Huh. Things are getting so much better and I love it. Hearing the music, breathing in the air, and just taking in the views. Now that it's actually getting a little bit later, I think we're gonna head on over to Islands of Adventure, check on Velocicoaster. I would love to ride it, like I said, and uh, if not, just explore that park a little bit. The best way probably from this spot would be to take the Hogwarts Express. I mean, I always love taking the Hogwarts Express, but sometimes the wait can be super long. Hopefully, our Express Pass will alleviate that a little bit. Looks like it's a 35 minute wait, so with our Express Pass, maybe it'll be less, maybe like a 10 minute wait. That would be wonderful, but we'll see. Because we are indoors, we're gonna wear our masks throughout the whole entire experience, but then once we get over to Ireland's Adventure, we can take it off and enjoy Hogwarts. I don't think the Express Pass saved us any time in here at all, actually. We kind of just came into just a big line. It's worth the wait, though. We are now on the platform, and I would say it was just about a 15-minute wait, but we have a whole bunch of people in front of us still. Look at how much more are actually still in line. Plus Hedwig! Look at him! He just blinked at me!
with our express pass was 35 minutes. So the express pass didn't help us out at all. And that's why it's usually tough to actually take the Hogwarts Express. Very long waits, but it's such a fun experience. Definitely if you come here, you gotta do it. Exceptions to Gap's Law of Elemental Transfiguration. Straight from Patrona! Are you alright, Harry? I'm okay. okay. Now we are in Islands of Adventure. Let me ask you guys though, do you ride the Hogwarts Express or do you actually just walk it? Like if you come here quite often, do you actually take the time to ride it or do you just say, heck it, we'll just walk because it's faster? Let me know in the comments what you do. Oh, and it looks like I can see the Velocicoaster is running right from Hogsmeade. So we're going to head right on over there to see if we can ride today and then probably hop back over to Hogsmeade. 75 minutes for Hagrid's though. So Velocicoaster test running or soft opening really didn't knock down the wait time so much for that ride. It's always a busy ride. They're both such amazing coasters. I have to tell you, as a roller coaster, like uh, Jurassic, uh, I mean the Velocicoaster is probably a way better roller coaster, but as a ride, I feel like Hagrid's is a better ride. More theming and it's just an overall better experience. But if you're in it for the thrills, Velocicoaster is the way to go. So from Hogwarts to that beautiful music, welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> the only time I got to ride this ride is for the first day of the pass holder previews. Actually, we were the first people in line to ride this ride. It was so fun. Nine in the morning, just having a great time. And I'm so happy I was able to come back and we get to see it as a soft opening. It's not set to open officially until June 10th, but it's, you know, doing its thing where it's test subjects. I also hear tell that the single rider line is open, but we're gonna see if it's actually open today. Looks like it's pretty busy, but definitely the newest attraction here in the Orlando area, so well-being. It says 80 minutes and the single rider line is at capacity. The reason it's at capacity is because they only have 40 lockers. So once all those lockers are taken up, they can't let anyone else in because nobody can put their stuff in there. So we're gonna wait it out and maybe the single rider line We'll open back up. We'll see though. Sounds fun. Yeah. Open, look at that. Thank you guys. Awesome. We get to go through the single rider line. So that's what the deal is. Normally they just shut it down because of locker space and then it opens back up and this is great. <laughs> 80 minute wait, we're gonna just jump right over here. I'm very happy about it, I could say. And plus I get to come in a new way. Oh, hi, how are ya? Oh yeah, so we get separate lockers in here. So these are all separate lockers right here. I can't film on the ride, so the camera's gonna go in the lockers, but I'll let you know exactly how long the wait was. I think we are at uh, 7.05. 7.05. I finally got to ride. Single rider line took about 40 minutes. The standby line was 80 minutes. So we definitely made out better by just going in the single rider line. And I'm just happy we did get to ride. The only bad part is you can't pick if you wanna go in like row one or the back row. You kinda of just get whatever you get dealt. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've ridden a couple times and I'm just happy that I got to ride it again today. Listen to that. Oh, there's a snake inside Universal. Squish him away. Come on, snakey snake. No. No, only allowed to handle animals if they have passed on. There he goes. He'll get he'll make it over there, yeah. He's a Slytherin. <laughs> 
and because we waited in line to actually ride the Velocicoaster, the park is sadly closed now. You know, they're closing these parks at 7, 8 o'clock. I mean, that's decent, but before they were closing at 5 and 6. I mean, I want a nice nighttime fun at Universal Studios. I hope the parks stay open up to like 10 or 11 when summertime comes. That would be amazing. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!